It's over. Duce, no! What now? I never thought this would happen. I'm sorry. I... I... Worry not. You were thinking only of saving me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just... Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. Now... Go to Pharaoh, if you would learn of your destiny. To Pharaoh? That's... There is much I owe you. Do not harbor a grudge toward these people. Duce! Wait! No, I beg you, don't go! Belius. Farewell. Poor Belius died within, like, an hour of meeting her. What was in the case from the ghost ship? Anapathea. What does that mean? Convey my soul, this cyano seal, to my ally, Don Whitehorse. So, this must have been what Harry meant. Humans. We'll be taking that stone. Is this what you guys were after? Hope you don't think we'll just let it go. Then we'll just have to pound on you until you do. Hell, try me. That's enough. Everyone throw down your weapons. Damn, look who's here. You. Take anyone still standing in the Coliseum into custody. We're gonna wind up in chains if we don't blow this scene. But we haven't done anything to warrant being arrested. I don't think they'd have any trouble cooking up a reason to put us behind bars. You're right. Escape is our best option. I've secured an escape. Hurry! Okay, we're getting out of here for now. No, I... I don't want to go anywhere. My power... It really is a poison. I thought I could help her, but I only brought about her death. I couldn't save her. W what are you doing? <laughs> Yuri, you're crazy. There, you saved me, didn't you? What? Uh, but I... You just got played, Estelle. Let's move. Okay. Yuri just recklessly stabbing Wait. himself. Alright, uh, goodbye, Sodia. Bellius is death. Bellius? How could something like this happen? There was still so much we needed to ask. Yeah. Think of all the knowledge that only an Entelakea would have. Not to mention her perspective as the Duce of Palestrale. Why couldn't we have met her sooner? Yuri. Yeah, rough times. I had to wrap up, but this is a terrible place to wrap up. This place is swarming with knights. We've no choice but to go out through the harbor then. But what if the harbor's blockaded too? Well, the Weasand of Kados is blocked off. If we have to get out of here, I'd say breaking out through the harbor is our best bet. Ah! Escaping by sea might be better, yes! Exactly. Sorry, Patty, but can I ask you to pilot the ship? Aye, aye. Leave it to me. Time to show you what I can do. I hope it's actually got a new Ceres Blastia, though. Perfect. Then I'll handle the Blastia. Hey, where's the old man? You don't need to worry about him. He'll turn up soon enough. Very true. He will. Right. He's the sort of guy who shows up as soon as you start to feel relieved he's gone. Yuri Lowell, 
This is the end of the line. Lady Estelise, you must return with us. Captain Flynn is worried about you. But I... Estelle's not going back with you. All right, let's hurry to the harbor. <laughs> Lots of stuff. We are definitely cursed. We have a piece of the Reaper's curse. Lots of stuff is going down. Oh, it's Flynn. Oh, no. Flynn? Looks like we can't put one over on this guy. Return Lady Estelise and the stone. Flynn, what do you want with the Apatheia? So the knights are trying to get a hold of this thing, too. That's why the hunting blades were here. It's like what that guy in Normgen said. The Apatheia brings only chaos to humanity. So it's true. Hand it over. Whoa, is he serious? Just what the hell are you doing? Using the military to get control of the city? That's taking things a bit far. Maybe you're carrying out your duty, but you can't just go around doing everything by force. Captain, awaiting orders. I thought you were with the Knights to change things like that. I don't know why I'm the one who has to be saying this stuff. You know it full well yourself. <sighs> Cat got your tongue? I mean, how's this any different from what I've come to expect from the Empire? Are you gonna follow Rago and Kumor's examples? If I did, would you just kill me as well? Would you do away with me like you did Rago and Kumor? Huh? What is he? If you go and become a villain, you won't be giving me much choice. Yuri? You mind saving this charming little squabble for another time? We're sort of in a hurry, right? <laughs> Come on! Captain! What was Flynn saying about Yuri and Rago? Save it! Yuri and Rago. Oh, you're. Okay, never mind. I thought that sounded weird. You men, raise the anchor! Yeah, man, raise the anchor! It hasn't even been five minutes. Raven, where did you come from? Don't suppose it'd be too much trouble to take one more with us. Hey, that's the guy. How on earth is this gonna go? Oh my goodness, Carol. Full speed ahead. What's happening? Judy? Where's this power coming from? Is it the Saris Blastia? Yeah! We broke through! The rudder handling's perfect. What's the deal with this formula? I've never seen anything like it. What? What are you doing? No, stop! Why would you? This is the path I have chosen. You're that dragon freak! Judy, wait! Goodbye. Judith? Why? What? I accidentally cut off Rita's line. I'm so sorry. But my goodness. Judith left the party and Raven joined. Not a fair trade, honestly. Our genius mage has given the Ceres Blastia her undivided attention. Sounds like the core on the new Blastia is pretty much totaled. It's a good thing we had that merchant lady change the Ceres Blastia for us. That's Kaufman for you. 
She always goes above and beyond in keeping her word. So luckily we still have the old Blastia around. Either way, looks like we'll be drifting out here for now. Looks that way. I'm worried about the ship's heading. I'll go check it out. What are Carol and Estelle up to? They're a bit down in the dumps. Why don't you go check in on them? You'd probably be better at cheering them up, old man. You know I'm not cut out for that stuff. Guess I've had a hand in dampening the mood around here, too. Might as well see how they're doing. Ooh, and Rita, after all that. The truth about Judith. I knew Judy's secret would get out someday, but not like this. A little heads up would have been nice. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. Oh, life. This game just got serious. It's been serious, but it, it just got rough. Lack of a better word. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Ah, there you are, boy. You sure have your own way of doing things, old man. Then again, I guess it's your only redeeming quality. Hey, way to hurt a man's feelings. I've got a ton of redeeming qualities. That's one list you can just keep to yourself. I have to tell you, I was so surprised to find out that Bellius was that beast. Sorry, I mean, Antelakea, was it? Yeah, but it seems like the story about her engineering the Great War was a lie. Probably just an excuse the Empire made up for them to invade Nordopolica. Maybe, yeah. So is that the Don's grandson? How'd he end up here anyway? This idiot got fed false information by Leviathan's claw and acted without thinking. I heard that an ally of the Don's had been captured by a monster. And I thought I'd come to save him. And then, I heard that the monster possessed Apathea, so... They said that Bellius had been captured? Apparently that's what Leviathan's claw said. So they went down there with the hunting blades to kill the monster. And that monster was actually Bellius. So even though you got the Apathea, the ally you were supposed to save ended up dying. Yeah. You need to learn to take things slower. Check your information before you rush out all ready for battle. Damn it! What the hell do you know? Things like this happen, I guess. Having the Don for a grandfather puts a lot of pressure on the boy. Anyone with a grandfather like that would be expected to work their butt off, yeah. Everyone expects too much of him. So he works hard not to let anyone down. And then things like this happen. Palastrale is not going to be too happy about this. Even if he didn't have any choice but to fight. I doubt they'll take that for an excuse. That Nats guy should forgive us, I think. That would be nice, but Nats isn't the Duce. It's the others in the guild we have to worry about. Well, I don't know how to get out of this mess. For now, I'm going to take him to see the Don. Take the ship to Dongrest as soon as it's working again, would you? Gotcha. I actually do know how to get out of this, but an eye for an eye. It's a matter between guilds, after all. Oh man, the end of the guild? I was okay with taking out bad people on my own. I couldn't tell the others. Not before with Estelle, and not now. I gotta face up to the choices I've made. It's been weighing on Carol, too. Who knows what'll happen to brave Vesperia? <coughs> so many things to deal with. I'm a little mixed up. Poor Repeat. Sorry for dragging you around, Repeat. <coughs> right. There's nothing else to be sorry about after all these years. <coughs> <laughs> okay, so what should we start with? Before anything else, we'll need to have the ship moving. What a good dog. Oh, Rita, I don't know how you're taking this. Does it look like it'll be okay? Oh, well, it's pretty bad. Jeez, this isn't usable at all. Damn it. I can't believe that Judith was... Why was she with us in the first place? I mean, with the way she wandered off, you couldn't believe it? I don't know. The spear looked the same, I'm just saying. That dragon, Baul, right? It attacked us back in Heliord, didn't it? You've got a good memory. That's not the sort of thing I easily forget. Do you think they were going after Estelle back then? Yes, she knew. She knew about Estelle. You didn't already know that she was that dragon freak, did you? Yeah. Damn it, I can't believe you! We all have our reasons for what we've done. You and Judy both. You mean... And me too, of course. You mean Rago and Kimor? Huh. 
I don't care much about what happened to them. Yeah, they're scum. What you did may have been a crime, but if you ask me, though the severity of the crime may differ, there's no such thing as someone suspected without cause. Are you seeing the same goes for you? Who knows? I mean, even that woman was... Judy was a loyal member of our party. That's how it looked to me, at least. Yeah, that's true, but... If she had just shared what she knew about the child of the full moon, and about the Entelikea, Estelle's problems might already have been solved by now. It depends, doesn't it? Pharaoh told her she was poison after all. You know, it's possible she knew where Pharaoh was from the very beginning. Yeah, maybe so. Either way, I'll never forgive her for breaking that Blastia. Well then, if Judy comes back, you can feel free to beat her up. She's not coming back. Hmm, I couldn't say. I don't know after that. I feel like Judith is not coming back. What's up, Estelle? Can you see anything? I don't see anything at all. After what happened to Bellius, and with Judith breaking our Blastia and running away, I just don't know what to think anymore. Oh, yeah? And then you went and cut your arm like that. <laughs> that was painful. It's not funny. But you healed me. I couldn't just ignore you, could I? I can't just ignore someone who's injured in front of me. So what are you all rattled about? Don't you remember? Bellius said to take good care of your kind nature. My power is the reason that the Entelikea hate me, isn't it? What's with you being able to use magic without Blastia? Even if I make an effort not to use my power on the Entelikea, to them, I'll still be evil. That's why Pharaoh was trying to kill me. But Belia said you should try to meet Pharaoh, didn't she? Yeah, in order to discover my destiny. But I wonder, is that really right? No, that can't be. I'm the one who'll decide my destiny. Now you've got the idea. Yeah, I um I really don't have time to talk to Patty and Carol, so I'm I'm gonna wrap up here. It's not a really good place to wrap up. But um I'm really hungry. My stomach is killing me. I was gonna wrap up earlier, but we had a lot of cutscenes. So we're gonna wrap up here and we'll talk to Carol and Patty next time and see where the story goes from there. But yeah, those of you watching on YouTube, I hope you all enjoyed. And when we come back next time, we'll uh, head to Dongress, talk to the party, talk to Patty and Carol first, then head to Dongress and see where the story goes on. But, um, yeah, things are getting intense now. Really intense. I think we're, like, we're probably over the halfway point of the story. I think. We're definitely at least halfway or over the halfway point. But, you know, with side quests and all, I'm not really sure when the playthrough will be done. But, either way, this game is good. But, I don't really mind. I'm not trying to rush it. But, yeah. Um, I won't be streaming tomorrow or Sunday. I don't think. Yeah, neither tomorrow or Sunday. So, I'll be back with... Persona 5 Strikers on Monday, and I'll be back with Vesperia on Tuesday. And I'll probably play Heroes 2 this week. I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.